we can safely say that there was never in history a Jewish leader that has impacted the world like the Rebbe did and still does. Aguten Erev Shabbos, my dear friends. This week, Tiparchas Koirach. Tomorrow night, Saturday night, is going to be Gimel Tammuz, the third day of Tammuz, the Rebbe's holy day. It has been 27 years since we saw the Rebbe physically. But we know that the Rebbe continues to lead us. One of the things we learn from the Rebbe is how to look positively at, at everything in this world. And one of the examples is from this week's Torah portion, Koirach. Koirach was a rebel. He was a leader, Jewish leader that rebelled against none other than Moses. And he gathered around him 250 leaders. And we always looked at him as a villain. Koira says he shouldn't be like Koirach. Comes the Rebbe and explains to us that there is a little different way we can look at him. And he asked the question, how come if he's such a villain that we have to erase his name, how come we name the portion Toirach after him? And the Rebbe explains that although the actions of Koirach was not good, nevertheless, the, his intentions was noble. What was in his intentions? He wanted to be a Kohen Gadol, the high priest. Why? He wanted to have this experience, the godly experience, like the high priest has. And indeed, Moses says, I also wanted to have it. So even Moses was also part of it. He wanted to have this experience of being the high priest. Of course, he took it too, too far. But the Rebbe says, this is one thing we need to learn from him. Meirach had good intentions, and that is something that we also need to have. We, we need to have the desire to connect to something holy, something godly. The way to do it, however, is by following what Moses is telling us, which is the instructions of God, bringing down the mitzvahs that are doing the good deeds down in this world. And the Rebbe's leadership, the Rebbe showed that it's not just uh, being a leader, taking care of world events, but being also a leader to the individual. There's a story once, the Prime Minister of Israel, Menachem Begin, came to visit the Rebbe. And they spoke, of course, about world matters. But then at the end, the Rebbe so they may have a personal favor to ask of you. And he told them about a, a Jewish woman in France that was writing to the Rebbe that her daughter wants to marry someone not Jewish. And the Rebbe asked Mr. Begin on the way back to Israel if, if he can have a stop in Paris and go talk to this girl. And the Rebbe says, I'm sure your personality and your stature and the fact that you speak French, you'll be able to affect her. And Rabbi insisted that he will pay for the cost of the trip. But Adam Begin did it. And he stopped him in Paris and he spoke to this young lady. And she agreed to stop the relationship and she moved to Israel. And she has now a beautiful family. And Begin explained later, he said, I know people ask me personal favors, but what is the Rebbe's personal favor? Is that there is a Jew that he never saw in his life, and he wants to make sure that he is not disconnected from the Jewish people, that he marries Jewish. And this is what we learn, what the Rebbe guides us, the Rebbe teaches us. Although we are busy with all world matters, it is important the individual to care for every single individual and every single mitzvah that we do. This is what connects us to Moshe Rabbeinu, to Hashem, and this will bring the coming of Mashiach and we'll see the Rebbe very soon. Amen. Have a wonderful